Hey everyone, we're heading into a local car show today here in Pueblo, Colorado. Uh, Project 200 is inside, uh, first real car show for it, and see how it does. It's looking pretty good, it's right in the entrance, so we'll go check it out now. So here's a little local car show. It's inside a uh, building here at the state fairgrounds here in Colorado. They do pretty good. A lot of, a lot of classic cars here this year. Uh, and pretty much every year, that's, that's kind of what comes. A couple motorcycles, all that stuff. Got cars up along the edge there. So we'll take a walk around and see what's here. Check this out. This is a really cool little truck. Old Ford pickup. This is Ray's car. I've done a little bit of tuning on it. It's got a like 5.3 LS in it, little LM7. Uh, Ray's completely hand-built the car from scratch. Built the top for it and everything on this thing. It's a really cool car. Like literally every panel's been handmade on this car. One-off car. Calls it the Lund. His last name's Lund. Ray Lund. Come over here, you guys can see he's made little engine covers for it, but it's an LS sitting in there. It's really cool. But they're, uh, these valve covers right here, they're just like little magnetic pieces that clip onto the engine and cover the, cover the engine up. Hey, Ray. And then this top is actually removable, so you can actually pull that top off the car, remove it, it goes into the trunk, folds up. That was his idea to be able to fold it all up and put it in the trunk. Check this out, this thing is so cool. The front end on this car, it's crazy. I forget what they call it. It's uh, Edsel, there you go. Yeah, check that out. Front end's so crazy looking on it. It's a pretty cool little car though. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Old Willie's Coupe. Got the Punisher diesel pickup over here. It's big. Power stroke build with a big pro charger on it. This thing's pretty crazy. Big old zoomies. These things light up a big old flame out of when the nitrous comes on. Pretty cool build. Something definitely totally different and radical. It's April thinking. <laughs> I love the paint on this thing, it is really neat. I love the old Mercs and Chevys and everything that people build. I don't think I'd ever build one, but I really do like them. I like how the antennas are all molded in. That's really neat. This Gremlin is super sick. So low, slammed on the ground. Check that out. <laughs> thing is so cool. Smooth over dash, everything real clean, real simple. I really like this car. Little pinstripe on the corner here. Alright, so this car's really cool. We were talking to the owner. It's been built like six or seven different times. It's got an LS in it now. Uh, he says it's had like five or six different transmissions in it and everything, but it's this Merc right behind me. I'll go ahead and show you guys. So here's this Merc. I guess it's got like an LS in it now with the cam and everything. It says it's got a nice little lope to it. He drives it quite a bit. He's had this car forever. Um, like I said, it's been built five or six different times. It's been painted a few, like multiple times. He's getting ready to repaint it, touch it up again. Uh, that's what he does is he does a lot of paint and body work. Car's just really nice. It's really cool. I forget how long he said he's had it. He says something like the car has like 200 and some thousand miles on it in its lifetime. I think 230,000. Just a car with a ton of history. 
this is really cool and he says he drives it quite a bit takes it out to a bunch of shows and everything it's always here at this one he also painted this car here you guys can see the flames in it kind of the ghost flames real nice car lots of cool paint and body work and he was telling us that he just picked this Corvette up for his wife. This Corvette's uh, one of 500 in black rose. And then they ended up putting a little pinstripe on the car and everything. I don't know if you guys can really see this color. Hopefully they can get enough daylight on it. But one of 500 C7s in black rose. It's a, This color's sick, as you guys can see, like right there. It's such a cool color. I really like this. For painting about a guy he had to go find the, the rare colored corvettes and he found one it's such a neat car i really like the uh interior too it's just a base c7 the few little options he actually ended up putting the wheels on it so it actually had the stock c7 wheels so he put the chrome wheels on it put a little pinstripe down it just a couple little things to touch it up really cool car you probably won't see many of these out there being uh that it's such a rare color so something to kind of watch for in the future see kind of what these cars do for value being being the color that they are. A couple modern cars here, Camaro, Charger. Camaro matches this uh, old pickup. This thing's really clean, little custom, 210. I really like how it's lifted. The wheels on it look sick too. This is pretty cool. All uh, wood bed. Everything's done real nice in it. It's like, I don't know if that's how the original wood tubs are done or not. It's kind of neat. It's all riveted in. I'm guessing it's got to be something like that to be able to do the wood bed like it is. Firebird. This thing's cool. Needs an LS in it. All right, maybe not. But it's pretty cool. This is actually my grandpa's four-door 57. Yeah, 57. Oh, this thing's cool, too. Plymouth satellite four door 57 <laughs> pretty cool that these are what families used to drive around in the Chevelle's really cool I like it real clean like the orange oh I got a I think it's yeah ramjet must be a big block yeah that's pretty cool real clean car I like that a lot this would be a fun driver for sure I love Volkswagen vans. They're so cool. I want to build one one day so bad. Get your little cake tab. Come in here, eat some lunch. Get a little pipe. That'll be all right. <laughs> this thing's cool. This thing is exactly. Oh, this is Impala too, an older one. Man, that thing is so cool. I love the blue. They got a rag top on it. This thing is so big. <laughs> it's such a big car. All right, so everybody's pulling their cars out. We're going to go ahead and get Project 200 out of here. Everybody's pulling them out. We gotta wait. We gotta wait for actually all these cars back here behind me to move their stuff, and then we're gonna go ahead and get it pulled out of here. So, get you guys a little video of us leaving, and we'll uh, call it there. So, thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you guys next time. That is close. it is out of its first car show here so gonna try to uh, get some rolling shots over here